Now movies on UHD have been around for at least five years now and still I don't collect them and here is the reasons why. I don't really have a huge TV. My TV screen is modest size at best. So I don't see how I'm going to benefit from increased resolution unless I sit really up close, you know, to count the pixels. And I do not see myself getting a bigger TV just to start spending money on buying more movies in physical format because I'm a collector as it is. I already own most movies I care to have in my collection in at least two formats. So if I were to consider adding on top of that sizable pile of physical media further UHD discs, I'd have to work out where to get storage space. I don't really see myself getting rid of any of my DVDs or Blu-rays because those have been with me for decades, they're milestones in my uh, film journey. So there is no way I'm just chucking them to uh, accommodate this format I never really asked for. Because quite frankly, I was pretty happy when uh, Blu-ray came along. I was a late comer to uh, Blu-ray, but I did embrace that format. But it never occurred to me, oh, the resolution isn't high enough or let us, uh, you know, get more gigabytes onto the same Blu-ray disc. No. So I never really clamored for this uh, UHD. Besides, I think this whole UHD movie thing is a stellar example of really poor timing. It should have come straight after DVD, then it would have really eclipsed DVD. That would have been revolutionary and I wouldn't be making this video. There are some aspects of uh, movies on UHD discs which I love, such as them being region free. Now that's something that neither DVD or Blu-ray could ever compete with. No argument there. I love the idea of watching my favorite films in the best possible technical uh, presentation, as close as possible to watching, you know, the original, uh, a fresh print from, from, from the negative or something. Because I love movies made on analog film. So most of the stuff I watch and wish to collect and have close at hand are films made prior to like 2001, 2005, movies where they were shot and processed without that much digital uh, technology. So that automatically precludes me from wanting to buy the newer movies where both filming and post-production were handled digitally. Also, I don't, I don't want to spend any money collecting physical copies of 4K upscales of movies which were mastered in 2K. This is something that completely doesn't make sense to me, doesn't appeal to me at all. Another point where I'm really hesitant is I wouldn't want my to watch my favorite movies uh, mishandled. So I'm not really attracted by this idea of revisionist color grading to match the current uh, trends. I see appallingly uh, discontented reviews accompanied by screen grabs of very recent uh, UHD releases where you can see the white balance has been completely botched and the movies do not look anything like I remember them looking. So color grading, color timing, it's a crucial element of the film viewing experience, of the home movie viewing experience. And this is where as long as I have a hint of uh, suspicion that the color, color imagery aspect is being handled by people who are either incompetent or who just simply don't care. I'll just stick with my older DVDs or Blu-rays and no thank you to this busted UHD. Another reason I don't buy movies on UHD is absence of peer pressure. I have a lot of friends who are great film enthusiasts, who are either involved firsthand in a filmmaking or who at least uh, have built up enormous movie collections over the years. I, I, I'm friends with many movie collectors. And a lot of these friends do collect movies in UHD, but I also, knowing them, I know that they basically buy everything. They are hardwired to keep on buying and collecting. It's not necessarily a pleasurable experience for them anymore. They just can't help it. They can't do otherwise. And this is where I don't end with them. So thankfully I'm free from such obsessions. So I only buy the stuff I truly wish to buy. I do not have a compulsion to just uh, buy stuff. So there. 
One of the biggest reasons is that I just can't seem to get excited about UHD, despite its evident technological superiority to the previous formats, it just doesn't do it for me, I just don't care. I just don't seem to care about UHD. You know, in the time I conceived, recorded and posted this video, can you imagine just how much new content dropped across all the streaming platforms? How many new shows were greenlit by Netflix alone or other such companies, producers, content producers? Now we are up to our eyeballs on content, but it wasn't always like this. I mean, you should have seen me back when DVD came into my life. That was a joyous time. There was absolutely no doubt to upgrade or not. I, I knew I would buy every single movie in this new digital format because back then movies lived at home in your personal home movie collection or they lived in your rental store or they lived in the cinema in the movies. That was it. They did not have their home on the internet on pirate downloads or illegal streaming sites or on your small device. You know, that uh, finality, that certainty that I own this movie is gone now. Now you own a certain incarnation of a film where, you know, in a few months another company will get a fresh scan, a better encode of the same movie or they will record some new features or they will add like a golden slipcover and the edition I own will be uh, kind of be eclipsed by that. This is why this whole UHD thing looks like it's unlikely to uh, hurt my pocket much. So, sorry UHD.